Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 12.32, Saturday, February the 3rd, and it is takeover time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we are back on my friend Sam's account. I'm going to finish off the gear raids for him. So let's see where we stand. I'm pretty sure he's got 121 done. Yep, 121 is good. And then two is at, I need to do 20 and 21, gear rate three, 20 and 21, okay? So um, uh, I don't remember what what kind of, what he's got on his account. Let's start with gear rate two. Let's do that because gear rate two is all about timing, okay? So if you have one really strong champ that can take out all of the enemies, <clears throat> Then the rest of it is just timing and understanding the waves, okay? So we are going to make this really, really easy. We're going to say, let's, uh, Hearts is cool. Gwendolyn's cool. Let's do, we have Cyrus. Okay. Oh, that's going to be super easy with Boreas. Okay, so we need our tanks. We need our tanks that we're going to use. Let's get Decimus on here. Does he need a certain promotion or, uh, for this to work? Must be. No, it's a skill. That's right. Yeah, so this is why Decimus is so good for Gear Raid 2, if you've never seen this before. Uh, Defiance. When HP drops to zero, the hero remains alive and continues to fight for eight seconds when fully skilled. So he's got an unyielding effect uh, that you use to tank the waves, basically. We want someone else who has that. Okay, we have Brooke here has the same effect. Uh, we need at least two that have that. And then uh, a couple more bonus ground uh, folks. So let's do, I'm going to, I don't know how everyone's geared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, Assume that Boreas is strong enough to take care of the waves, but I want him to ult early. Um, that'll happen because of Cyrus, because of the reduced cost in his ult. So he's not awakened. I want I want him to be stronger, so I want to throw a Dolores in there. I'm going to use Horrors to make uh, Vortex stay alive. Yeah. Let's get Dolores. There we go. So, so in this, I'm gonna assume that everyone is geared well enough, except maybe um, Boreas. I'm gonna want to put my best DPS gear on him just temporarily. Let's see what he's got. Um, 14k, good attack speed. Okay, let's just try that. <clears throat> let's just try it. Let's see what we have. Gear Raid 2 is all about timing. Get rid of him. Now this next one, this is where it starts to get tricky, where you have to understand how the waves come down and when to place your units to take advantage of the unyielding effect. So speed it up, get past the Golem Shriek. And these guys. So I want to wait, slam one, slam two, and then once you see the flash for the third slam, that's when you drop your unit. There we go. His unyielding takes effect. It'll take effect long enough for the second monster to run into him and lose, you know, about two-thirds of his life. Once he does, withdraw, place Vortex. You want to place Vortex first because some monsters will come out that target the first champion that you place on a raised tile. So your first, you know, healer or marksman or mage or whatever. Let's get Boreas back down and... We'll get a tank. There we go. We don't need him anymore. Um, oh, I should have put the, the horn on Dolores to make sure that... Let's just... Yeah, she would definitely need that horn. Oh, well. 
Let's just see how quickly he kills everyone here. Boreas is so strong. I love it so much. Once that second wave is done, you're going to need uh, two tanks for, for this next wave. So after the Shriek, you don't need to time this one with the hits. You just place your two champs uh, that have an unyielding, some sort of unkillable. You can use Regulus. You can use Baron. <clears throat> Go. Same thing, waiting for this second monster to hit, and then we despawn, replace the others that we need. So there we go, he lost most of his life. Now, here, place someone, same thing, they're going to run into him, and then they're going to die because they lose a portion of their life when they run into someone. So I'm going to place Elowen this time so that when I place uh, Boreas, he will get his ult even quicker. Because she has she does Rage Regen every couple seconds. I'm not going to use Dolores because I didn't put the horn on her. That makes her start with additional Rage. But I don't think we'll need it. There we go. And start pulling people. Brace is so strong. I love it so much. <laughs> Gear Raid 2 is all about timing. If you have one strong DPS champ, it's usually an AoE mage. It can be done with Boreas easily. It can be done with Comet. The this third wave, you wait again. So it can be done. I, I did it the first time. Uh, I actually cleared it with Silas. So after that second hit drop um silas i got super lucky silas was my first a5 champ and uh and so i actually used him to to clear oh i should have put her on the other side oh come on jake pay attention that's all right we'll get there we go Oh, I didn't need to put Vortex down. Now I'm going to have to despawn him. Oh, well. Because at this point, um, the the boss, he's going to Hulk out here. And he'll either attack until he kills everything, or your folks can survive if they're geared well enough. The easiest thing to do is just to despawn to save time, right? Like for speed runs, just despawn everyone you have here. And then, uh, and then instead of pounding away forever, he'll... Uh, just turn red and then turn back to blue and then you can kill him again, no problems. Oh, come on. There we go. So let's put him down. Let's get you down. Oh, no. There we go. Pay attention to who you're placing. <laughs> well, optimally, you would know how everyone is geared. Uh, I was just hopping on here with the the strat. So there we go. And Boreas will take him down no problem. And he cleared all those waves super easily, so he'll be able to do the same thing on 21. This will be a, a nice, easy uh, takeover just to get access to stage 21, at least for Gear Raid 2. But the value here for, for all of you, right, is at least that part. You got to I got to explain and walk through the timing if you've never seen it before. Volca really helps. Uh, you need to do this specific strategy. It's it's known as the Volca strat because uh, you you place you despawn repeatedly throughout it, and we need an A one Volca to reduce that spawn time. Let's get at a max horn. Mm, Got a level ten horn. Uh, well, optimally that would be maxed out, but we'll take 25% instead of 50, whatever. That's all right, and I'm not going to worry about the rest. And we'll just do the same thing. 
So place your DPS. If your DPS can kill everything by itself, cool. If not, just place one of your tanks. Um, so like you could take, oops, take Olag and drop him there. That way it'll give your DPS champ long enough and it doesn't have to be a major marksman either you can use you know zilla 2 works fine salazar um whatever strong dps champ you have there it doesn't have to be the same one that you use to clear the waves it's just convenient if it can be the same one so clear those first two place your tank if you need to despawn both for the very the first legitimate wave wait for the second smash or the third smash right they did two he's pulling up at the light, we drop him. There we go. Place him down. Speed it up. Let the next guy come. Once he hits, we... There we go. Took damage. Pulling back. First uh, raised tile is going to be your healer. Place a tank down to take the hits from these two. Hmm. That did not work. I don't know why the timing there. He should have he should have ran into Olag and lost his health, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Does not matter. Shouldn't matter. I guess, I guess we'll find out. So after this one, just place your two unkillables, whoever they are. We're again waiting for him to run into him to take that, that health loss. There we go. Gone. And then we're going to place someone here. Same thing. Make sure they're moving. If they're moving, when they run into someone, they should lose their health enough. There we go. That's what I was saying. I didn't know why that didn't happen last time. We want Vortex down first. He's a HP-based healer. Um, you can use an attack-based healer and just put some HP percent, put some additional HP on them. go he's dead that's cool berets should take care of everyone oh no they attack too fast okay so um that's good right it's good to know so vortex probably isn't fully geared that's all that's easy enough so we will go to our heroes and northerners vortex gear 20k we've got healing effect attack attack why is uh, just to make the set okay so we want three hp percent mains here let's do that let's do um let's get some extra rage regen maybe attack speed i don't know let's see what he has oh there we go yeah sorry gwendolyn you know i'm not using you right now go what's this attack speed rage regen yeah how much gold do you have i'm using it that was unfortunate. Place. Okay, so for this one, um, let's do attack percentage there. There we go. Attack speed, healing effect. There we go. A little extra healing effect. We got HP percent. Obviously, you don't need crit rate for your healer, but we want the extra HP percent there. So HP, HP, HP. We've got extra attack speed there. What do we have here? We've got a HP. Bonus there with a flat HP. Okay, so those are good. Those are good. So we went up uh, a few thousand health there. Maybe what do we have here? Increases healing effect. Let's actually I'm swap. <clears throat> His health went up you know, about 3,000, but let's do HP with 
Um, let's get him some defense. So let's see what we have here. Defense and rage regen. Defense, attack speed, and healing effect. That would be better. So. Place. Gwendolyn. HP, attack speed, defense, and flat HP. Oh. There we go. That's better. And then, can we get this set? Healing effect. Healing effect, attack speed, defense bonus. There we go. That one's better. Did I take Gwendolyn's entire set? Okay. There we go. So we got... <laughs> should have been doing... His, his defense is so low. I probably should have just been doing flat defense instead of defense percent. Uh, I'm just so used to... Oh, that's why he died. He's only level 50. Ah, that's embarrassing. That's all right. <clears throat> we just made him a little bit stronger. Let's do this again. And uh, and I tell you what, if this fails, I'll just re-gear Gwendolyn since she's six, not Gwendolyn, um, Elowen. And I'll show you that you can do it with a with an attack-based healer if this, if this one doesn't fail, if he still can't survive those attacks. All right, let's speed this up. Let's move me up here so I can actually use ults. To him. Remember, we're waiting for the third smash here. Wait for the light. There it is. Drop him. Speed it up. You don't have to speed it up there. I've just done this enough times that. I know when you can and when you can't. Let's put him down. Let's put you down. Let's uh, put someone who won't die. Second main wave, we just wait until the Shriek, and then we can play some. But they both have to have some sort of unyielding effect. So Decimus, Regulus, Rakir, slow it down. Baron, there we go. We're going to need someone to tank the hits so that they die. That's fine. Oh, man, I meant to pull him. I mistimed it. That's all right. We are ahead of the curve, so it doesn't really matter. Let's get Vortex down. Let's see if he survives this time. Hmm, might not. Oh, well, maybe he will. Oh, that's... Yeah, it looks like he's going to survive this time. Pull everyone. And if you're doing this for the first time, don't mess around with two times speed. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Do everything on one time speed. The timing is so particular. Um, so right now, you need your, your, your two... Uh, unyielding, unkillable champs back. So you wait, smash, smash, and now drop them. And at this point, you're going to need two um, fighters or tanks, um, folks to put on ground tiles because they'll need to tank these enemies a second time in order for them to die. There we go. All 
I just want him to go red so I can actually show you what I'm talking about. There we go. No one's on the board. I didn't even have to despawn. But if there's no one to kill, then he um, just goes back to blue. Ours does not look to be geared excellent, but it'll be enough with Elwin and Vortex there. Let's speed it up. There we go. And that'll be 221. So uh, that's that's the timing, that's the strat. Uh, hopefully you learned something from this. Uh, I do I do a bunch of takeovers. I give away free ones. If you want to do paid ones, I do paid ones. Come check us out in the Discord server. I'll link to that in the description below. Um, but I hope this was useful. Let me know. And uh, if you have an idea for something you'd like me to cover, something that'll help you specifically, let me know that also. I'd be happy to help. And uh, other than that, if you appreciated this, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend, and I will see you in the next one.